okay, I've been talking to my students about Secure Shell and um, using Secure Shell to have uh, a secure connection to a remote computer. And it's something that's typically done very often in Linux where you need command line access of remote machines. But in Windows, it's a little bit different. So I'm working on a um, lesson here about authenticating uh, Secure Shell but using a public and private key pair to authenticate with. And I realize there's not really a lot of Windows solutions to this. It's mostly Linux that I'm doing most of the lessons in. So I found some tools and I'm going to share them with you here and show you how to use them. One of the first tools I found was free SSHD and free FTPD. And if you just put in a search for free SSHD, you'll find this website. It's freeSSHD.com. You can go here and click download and you can download the free SSHD and the free FTPD programs install them and uh, just take all the recommended defaults during the installation and create a key and all that. Then PuTTY, uh, P-U-T-T-Y, um, you can search them on the internet too and you'll find this page right here and you can go to uh, downloads and when you go to the download page there is a installer that will install everything, all of the programs including uh, PuTTY Tell or uh, uh, pageant and uh, P-U-T-T-Y Gen and PuTTY Gen is very useful for generating keys since we're going to be talking about um, key authentication, private and public key authentication. So you could just get the installer and it installs everything but PuTTY Tell. And then the last program, the, the PuTTY is going to be used for a um, for a client, for an SSH client in Windows. Free SSHD is going to be the um, SSH server in Windows. So I'm going to use the free SSHD as a server, SSH server in Windows. I'll use PuTTY as a client. And then I found another client, and this is TerraTerm Pro, and so you can search them out. Uh, TerraTerm, all one word, search on Google, and you'll make it to this website, Ayera, A Y E R A dot com forward slash TerraTerm, and you can download the Pro version for free on this site. We're going to use that as also a client. So I've got the links here to them. Here's uh, I made some shortcuts on my desktop. Here's free SSHD. This is another good program that I didn't talk about, WinSCP. That's going to be uh, useful. So let's put that up here too. I'll just do a quick search. Win. Let's see here. WinSCP. And that is another very useful program. It's winscp.net. winscp.net. And you're going to want this program. It's very useful as a client for um, doing a, uh, if you want to do the uh, free SFTPD, so a secure FTP um, uh, server, which SSHD has, SSHD and free FTPD, right? free FTPD. So if you wanted to FTP securely into this free FTP server, you would want to use um, WinSCP. That's a useful program to have. So I've got links to all these programs here on my desktop. Free SSHD, WinSCP, PuttyGen, Putty, and TerraTerm Pro. Okay, we'll start with the free SSHD server. Um, I didn't install it as a service, so when I want to run the free SSHD server, SSH server, I have to double click on it. I did so, and then you can tell that it's running down here in your system tray, which I think is a little off screen. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but I will double click here in my system tray to open it up. And here it is. So it's running right now. And you'll see when you open it up, you'll see server status. SSH server is running by default once you start it up. Telnet is not. And the first thing you're going to want to do is create users that will connect to your server. So I've correct, created a couple. This first one that I created, Dan, is a user based on my user count on this computer. So I want to SSH into this computer, let's say my laptop. So I'm going to create a user for that. So I'll say add user. And I said my username, Dan, and then I'm going to use NT authentication, meaning, meaning they're going to use my Windows password when, um, when connecting, when authenticating to this server, right? And let's say I want to give myself shell and SFTP access, right? And I'll click OK. 
right? And so this user already exists, so it says there's an error there. But let's just take a look. I already created it, but I can change it. And you see there it is. I can, I'll turn this off, click OK, right? So I've changed that. Or, And then this is another user that I've created. Let's add another one. I'm going to create a test user called Bob. And then this user will authenticate only with a uh, public key. So I'll set public key only and then shell and SFTP. All right, so this will be a public key only. So I've got a test user named um, Bob also. And let's see here, after you have your users set up that are going to be secure shelling into your computer, right? I'll get rid of this one since I don't need this one right now. All right. So I've got the two users, my username with NT authentication and Bob with key authentication. All right, then I'll just click Apply. OK, it says if with those changes I need to restart the server. So I'll say yes, restart the server. OK, and now I'll go over to SSH. Um, SSH is listening on all interfaces, port 22. I've put a banner message in here that says, hello, good to see you authentication you could say all right I'm gonna have password authentication we'll start with that allowed and then public key authentication we'll start with that allowed and we'll just see if we can get connected to this server for step one I'll click apply then um, SFTP you can set your SFTP folder here if you want to when users are connected to your server you'll see them here in the online servers online users area and that's about it okay you can set host restrictions refuse certain IP addresses allow only certain IP addresses for enhanced security right and that kind of thing alright so I'll just go back to the SSH window apply one more time and let's see if we can get someone connected in to the server alright on the other computer on the server I ran a command prompt and I did an IP config to check my IP address on the other computer. I did IP config, hit enter to get my IP address, and so now I'm ready to secure shell into my server. So I'm going to open up PuTTY. I have PuTTY on this computer. This is the one the computer I'm using as the client. And I'm going to put in the IP address. The server's IP address is 1.144 and I'll hit open and ask me who I want to log in as. The user I had created was Dan based on my actual user account on my other laptop. Hit enter and put in my password and there's the message, hello good to see you and I've automatically placed on the desktop and I can do now a DIR command. I can't do an LS command, it's not Linux but I can do a DIR command and I do have um, terminal access basically to my um, server. So I did that with username and password. I'm going to exit now and we'll next thing we'll try to do is we'll try to do it with uh, key authentication.